Hello there! It's me, Kayvon, by far your favorite half Persian, half Scottish minority comedian from Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Was that enough indicators? As you know, if you've been following along, every Thursday we do a comedy rewind. That's where I go deep in the archives and pull out a clip I didn't expect to show you. This was just to watch later and see if it should go in one of my upcoming comedy specials. If you're a true fan of comedy, you're not going to be worried about the bad quality. You're going to enjoy taking a look back at how a comedian can make fun of the president without being disgusting, nasty, or crude. So, SNL, sorry not laughing, Trevor No Laughs, Stephen Cobor, take notes because here is how an expert comedian can walk that tightrope without offending anyone on the right or left. Here's how you do it in this comedy rewind. A clip from Fort Lauderdale Improv. Enjoy. How about the Latino people? Are you here, Latino? Fuck! You gotta love, Latino women are so gorgeous that no matter how they dance, the men will do it too. Like, okay, fuck it. You know what, one thing I don't like about the Spanish language? I took three years of Spanish. All I can say now is, ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Where's the library? I don't ask for a library in America. Why am I gonna do that in Tijuana? Teach me some shit I can use, all right? Then we got uh, black people in the house. Black people, make some noise. You hear that? Black people are doing good right now. They are taking over, everybody, if you haven't been losing the news. Yes. And it makes it easier as a white comedian. Because these people weren't allowed to talk about them. But now you can't because they know how good they're doing. They got the president, am I right? They took Karate Kid without asking. There was no vote, just like, yeah, we want him too, come on. He's like, yeah, that's right. They got all the Kardashians, they're doing great. They're doing great. No more problems. It's good, I'm glad we have Barack, because I don't care if you like him or you don't like him. You can tell he's working hard, he's trying to do stuff. First thing he did in office, bash for clunkers. Leave it to a black president, pimp everybody's ride at the same time. That was tight. He didn't even wait. Two million dollars. Done. <laughs> like, you'd be like, what about Iraq? What about your ribs first? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. What about healthcare? What about your ride? And it's good. Then he switched healthcare. We all pay the same for healthcare starting next year, which I don't think is fair. Women should pay way more for healthcare than men. Yeah, you go to the doctor more, all right? As any dude under the age of 50 who his doctor is, no clue, right? <laughs> Who's your doctor, dude? He's like, I am a doctor. Why do you ask? <laughs> this is my doctor friend. What's... You don't know your doctor, right? You know who knows their doctor? Women. Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, my dentist, my gynecologist. Guys know two doctors, Dr. Dre and Dr. Pepper. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> See, we covered a lot of people. Nobody was upset. The audience was in stitches. That's how you do it. Folks, if you enjoyed my comedy clips, you can go on youtube.com slash comedy and share all 400 of them. Or you can make a one-time donation on gofundme.com slash comedy or Venmo at kvon kvon. Put the name of this video in there so I'll know how you found me. And finally, you can become a Patreon or a local subscriber. More importantly, I have a podcast called The Right Show. I go live every Wednesday and we do the comedy Comedy Rewinds every Thursday. This is more free entertainment than anyone can ask for, and this is more than any other half Persian has ever done for you. Bye.